smile for the camera, Frankie. <laughs> share my new discovery with you all. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Not long ago I was told by a friend that after you're done with a head of lettuce, if you put the butt end in a glass of water on the windowsill that'll grow lettuce again. <laughs> and I was like, come on. I've been involved with gardening since I was a little boy, helping my dad with the garden, and I've been a successful gardener all my life. And I have never, ever heard of such a thing, but of course I had to try it. Check this out. So here on the windowsill, I've got this head of romaine started. Check this out. After I had my lettuce, instead of throwing the butt end in the compost pile, I put it in a little cup of water, and it's growing lettuce. <laughs> I don't know why, but this just tickles me to death. I don't, I've never seen such a thing. I've never heard of anybody doing it. It's the funniest thing. So it's even growing roots. So I'm going to take this and stick it in the ground in my hoop garden and see what happens. I'm just amazed by it. Isn't that something? So of course I had to try it with some celery. After I was done with a stalk of celery, I put the bud in, in a glass of water, and look at this. So here I got celery growing, nice stalk of celery growing right off the nub. That's just amazing. Have you ever heard of such a thing? I haven't. I've been in this game a long time, and I have never heard of someone recycling a lettuce nub. So I've got lettuce and I've got celery growing off of something that I've been throwing out my whole life. Unbelievable. And you know what? This has only been in the jar here maybe a week and a half. Not much more than that. So that's the quickest method of growing lettuce I have ever seen. And again, growing off of something we've been throwing out forever. Unbelievable. I almost feel like running around to the restaurants and collecting all their lettuce nubs. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the experiment going. I'm going to try it with some cabbage and some other vegetables, and I'll keep you up to date on my findings. So, happy gardening to you. Oh.